Hey there, everybody. Happy Monday to you. Um, I made a huge mistake <laughs> cutting some fabric. I just I miscut fabric instead of doing it 9 by 14 I did it 9 by 12 and I made a lot of mistakes a big pile of mistakes so you know mistakes are the mother of invention so in order to use what I have and utilize my mistake I have created uh, some little kind of uh, traveler's notebook-ish uh, sort of uh, journals for you guys. So let's take a look and I'll kind of show you what's different uh, about these, uh, you know, rather than the uh, the big honk and big mama. We're going to call these little mama journals and they do have the... Uh, a beaded spine on it. You can tell that there is no, you know, definition of a spine here. What I did was I just kind of uh, adhered the fabric to book board and then I just kind of, um, you know, kind of folded it into itself so it gave it a round spine um, instead of a boxy type spine. Uh, finished it off with our usual brad and an elastic tie. These books have two signatures in it. The signatures are different. They don't include things like uh, the story starters or the creative cluster kits or the mini kits. So I'll show you and that is uh, that's reflected in the price that we're going to offer you guys. So what we have is two signatures, pocket signatures, that are just kind of chock full of creative elements for you to play with. I did include two of our um, our chippies because that just kind of rounded everything out. I did include the 3x3 three three mini book, but you can see how many elements there are in these pockets. Also, because the outside was kind of Halloween-ish, I did include some Halloween papers in here, some very interesting Halloween papers. And you do have the vintage text. You do have some of the seashell papers that we're so fond of. Um, you do have uh, vintage encyclopedia pages and things like that. Now, this is a, uh, a, mini, a mini cluster, and I just did two mini clusters per per signature and so we'll just flip through here and we can see that uh, i've got six hairy paper clips in here so this is a journal for you know maybe someone who does not want to um you know to uh, uh financially do a 42 dollar journal these are 25 dollars and what i'm gonna do i really do think you guys that they'll start uh first class postage not priority mail um i'm thinking it's going to be around 580 um I'm, that's what i'm going to start the postage as with this journal um because it's going to go first class uh it it won't get there quite as fast as that priority mail but um going first class is is cheaper than priority mail i think it's about three dollars cheaper than priority mail also if you're looking for a really fun uh fun gift for someone, you know, for the holidays or uh, or for Halloween in particular. This would make a really super keen little book for Halloween. So, you know, just it's it's not chock full of bells and whistles, but it still has a lot of fun things going on, fun elements going on. And I have, like I said, I, I could not really believe, yes, I could believe that I did that. I I mean, how many years have I been cutting 9 by 14 fabrics to go in journals? And then all of a sudden, I did like a whole batch of 9 by 12. So there there will be a few more of these coming out of the, uh, <laughs> the studio. Like I said, it was just like, well, what am I going to do now? And then I had a dream last night, which a lot of times I do. A lot of times I'll wake up and... You know, I'll be awakening from a dream of uh, either drawing something or painting something or putting a book together or uh, 
cutting things out, which seems to be kind of a big, big uh, <laughs> dream theme with me. This is an owl uh, traveler's notebook style. You know, with a traveler's notebook, you usually get uh, these, you usually get grommets here, and it is uh, bound with stretchy string. I don't have the means to do that, so this is kind of the way that I'm doing it. This one does have a super cool uh, crow bead on it. I really did like that. I'm really just utilizing um, kind of leftover elements. You guys know how I do things. It's It's all like the the abandoned the orphan the homeless uh, I love to use those things in a journal I love to give things new life and new purpose uh, it's so cool to know that these journals will come to you and you will work with them and you will be able to pass along what's in the journal I think that is so super cool you know we call that um, co-creation at its very best if you are a fan of Abraham or Esther Hicks then you know exactly that concept that I'm talking about I really did love these pops of copper on uh, the paper that I got from Michaels recently I was so happy to get um, to get a nice few paper pads to work with. You know, as far as curation, yes, you know, they are still a bit curated, just not as thickly or as layered as the creative elements in our big, um, Big Mama Flow journals. Well done is better than well said. I really thought that that was a cool quote right here. You've got um, some kind of brewery elements here, some spirit elements. I'm, uh, you know, constantly fascinated by what we're doing in the arena of uh, make your own and brew your own and you know, especially now that the world is kind of falling down around us, uh, you know, you think about, oh, I'd, I'd like to know how to make beer, or I'd like to know how to make ale, or I'd like to know how to make wine, or, you know, you, you kind of see those. Uh, Chris has been playing at a place that makes moonshine, so we have uh, two bottles of moonshine downstairs, and we were talking about, you know, it's time to kind of uh, fire up the fire pit and and do our uh, sit at the fire pit kind of thing in the fall, which is so, I tell you what, it's like magical. I love the fire pit life. And so he was, he, we were talking about it. And he was like, yeah, we can finally drink that moonshine <laughs> because he, uh, he plays at the, uh, the distillery often so he always it's really cool because Chris supports wherever he's playing so if it's a venue that offers a t-shirt then he'll purchase the t-shirt if they brew their own spirits he will bring home a bottle of spirits and uh, you know that just reciprocal kind of thing I think is real important especially you know in today's kind of day and age I thought this page really came together real nicely I think I put about 20 pages per signature. Uh, so you'll get about 40 pages per signature. So you get about 80 pages of things to play with, um, papers to play with, different kinds of different kinds of elements and things. So there we go, my friends. $25 going in the shop. Um, you know, we're, we're going to say five eighty on the postage. If it's any less, then I will refund you. If it's any more, then we'll we'll just rethink the way that we are pricing the postage on these little mama journals. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.